Warning. I say a lot of bad words. Not your main. Ba da ba ba ba. I'm loving it. Sorry, guys. You know how to do it for the one time. Now let's talk about some clowns. The first guy on the list name is Dirty Ron, also known as Dirty Ron McDonald. Final judgment. Saturday, November 4th. Los Alamitos. It's Dirty Ron taking on the mirror image, Ricky Mandel. Well, I know you're a bruiser, Ricky Mandel. I know you've had battles. I know you fought some of the best, but you haven't fought Dirty Ron. Mirror image. There's no mirror image like the mirror image you're looking in the face of right now, Ricky Mandel. You might be 13 feet taller than me right now, Ricky Mandel. But on Saturday, November 4th, at the final judgment, it's you looking in the mirror to the dirty, evil side of you, yeah, yeah. Well, you've got to talk to your conscience. You've got one side, that's Ricky Mandel's side, and you've got the other side, that's the Dirty Ron side. Well, Saturday, November 4th, final judgment. You're looking in the mirror, Ricky Mandel, and I guarantee you, you're not gonna like what you see. Cause I'm Dirty Ryan McDonald. I'm so dirty. I make Ric Flair look like Mr. Clean. So Ricky Mandel, you better bring your best. You better, you better, you better make sure that when I break that mirror, you're gonna have seven years of bad luck. Cause I'm Dirty Ryan McDonald and I don't play by the rules. Final judgment, Saturday, November 4th. Bring it. I found this Dirty Ron match right here. This is like one of the first matches that pop up. He going up against a wrestler named Pagano. I don't even know if I said his name right. Dirty Ron reminds me of like an Adult Swim character. Y'all ever watch that show called Super Jail? I feel like he would fit right into that show. I miss watching that show. Suck my fucking English speaking American dick. Now, ahora payaso y payaso lucha muerte. Pagano. But uh, Pagano, win, lose, or draw, I'm looking at a fucking legend, so I don't care what happens. Wrestling is made of moments, and today, from pole to pole around the world, the world is going to know Dirty Ron McDonald is here to fucking stay. The match just started like a minute ago, and he already went outside. They start brawling outside in the crowd and shit. I'm surprised nobody didn't get hit. Luckily, everybody moved out the way. Eventually, they go back into the ring just to go back outside the ring. Pagano does a fucking outside dive, but he has light tubes in his hand. That's one crazy ass spot. The light tube goes flying into the fucking crowd. What the hell was he even thinking? Oh, what does he have in mind here? Look out! Whoa! Tope suicide dive right on top. Of Dirty Ron. We are in the opening minutes of this matchup, and already, what the hell? He just ate that light tube, literally. Spitting out glass. Look at that sick face. I don't know who's sicker Pagano or Dirty Ron McDonald. Dirty Ron ends up getting a barbed wire steel chair. Where the hell did he get that shit from? He tries to use it on Pagano, but he fails. Pagano goes up on breast rope and hits a flying cold breaker on him. They're just doing anything right now. Uh-oh, what does he have in mind here? Pagano taking way too much time. Wait a minute, look out! Frankensteiner from the top! Hurricane Rana onto the chair! My goodness! Look at that! Thousands of thumbtacks! Pour it out in the ring. Dirty Ron off the ropes. And now, wait a minute, catching him though. Oh no, Dirty Ron possibly setting up his own demise. And he did exactly that. One, two. He kicked out. Pagano goes up top rope with the light tube, and he tries to hit like a twisting backwards splash. I don't know what the fuck that was, but he didn't hit it though. I never really understood why they use light tubes in these matches. Like, who came up with the idea? I used to watch hardcore matches all the fucking time when I was a kid, but then I got older, and I don't really like them anymore. I'll still watch them though, because some of them still be good. Dirty Ron makes his comeback. He hits a single clothesline. Then right after, he pours some lighter fluid on his elbow pad. This guy's a fucking maniac. I ain't never seen anybody do that shit before, and probably for a good reason too. His elbow pad. Ah! One, two. That's it. It's over. 
The ring is still on Ladies fire. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner, Dirty Ron McDonald. Unreal. Dirty Ron making a statement tonight in more ways than one. His finisher is a fucking flaming elbow drop. Why the hell would anyone want to take that shit? You got to be out your damn mind. If you had to pick, would you take a flaming table bump or would you take a flaming elbow drop? Shit, I might pick the table, but I don't know, though. Back in like 2016, Dirty Ron had a WWE match. He was in a handicap match against Braun Strowman. His WWE name was Steven Splash. What a shady name that was. A few years ago, Dirty Ron was making this movie. It was called a pro wrestling movie, The Legend of Dirty Ron. They didn't drop the movie though because they couldn't afford it. They tried to do a fundraiser, but they didn't reach the goal. They made this video going like, hey, we need money for the movie. To be honest, if this shit really did come out, I think it would have been the worst wrestling movie ever. Fucking Vince Russo commented on this shit. He tried to compare Dirty Ron to Stone Cold Steve Austin. That's crazy as hell what the hell was he smoking on when he made this comment they didn't drop the movie but they dropped the trailer though it's about dirty ron getting fired from his fast food job then he becomes a pro wrestler they got rvd in this movie he's dirty ron's trainer they got him playing as a hobo that's funny as fuck i would show the trailer but i don't know if i get copyrighted or not because youtube be annoying with that shit these people really like wrestling around here Oh yeah, by the way, here's the rest of the cast of this movie. This shit random as hell. I want to make my own movie now looking at this. Effie has gotten involved in this matchup. Yet another GCW mo- Oh no. Brett, you just put Effie up to this. Dirty Ron, oh my god! Oh shit. He went through the table! Back in like 2022, Dirty Ron got arrested for alleged assault and false imprisonment. He got like seven charges. This show called XPW made a tweet saying that they kicked him out, but then they brought him back anyways. Pro wrestling always got some crazy shit going on. Dirty Ron is also the same guy that accused a GCW owner of using fake COVID tests. There's an article about it, and he did an interview on it too. And here's what I know for a fact. I know whatever wrestlers did, in fact, have fake COVID tests made for them. They didn't have them made for them. Brett, at, Brett, unbeknownst to those wrestlers, had them made because those wrestlers just didn't have them. And instead of not booking these wrestlers, he had already flown out there. Brett took it upon himself to do some shady ass shit and get somebody to do that. That person I know. I know that person. I honestly don't even know what to believe. Do you think he's telling the truth or he's lying? Besides being a pro wrestler, Dirty Ron is also a stand-up comedian. Let's take a look at one of his jokes. I'm a professional wrestler. If you don't know what that means, I touch other sweaty men in my fancy underwear and people pay to watch it and I'm not gay. That's what I tell my therapist. She don't believe me. <laughs> Just kidding. I can't afford a therapist. Okay, now I'm done talking about Dirty Ron. Now let's talk about the next guy. This guy is a YouTuber slash wrestler. Well, mostly YouTuber though. Okay, so this clown is named Raka Raka. He's a YouTuber. They got like 6 million subscribers on their YouTube. I haven't watched any of their videos until now. The YouTube account is ran by two brothers. I don't know where the second brother at though. They be doing like fucking YouTube skits. The most popular ones involve Ronald McDonald. I never watched their videos growing up. This makes me remember in like 2016, there was these people going out at night dressed up as clowns. That's some fucking creepy ass shit right there. They even made it on the news. I'm watching this match right now and it feels like I'm watching a video game or something like that. I don't know how to explain it. They doing all this hardcore shit and they're also going 100 miles per hour. This feels like one of those wrestling commercials.
They just over here no selling moves and shit. Do you guys still eat McDonald's? I haven't ate that shit in like a year. When I was a kid, I used to eat that shit almost every day. I remember when I used to work at Walmart, I got off at like 11 p.m. Everything was fucking closed and I would be fucking hungry. McDonald's was the only fucking place open, so I would get like two McChickens and a medium fry. That was like one of my go to meals. I also like the quarter pounder. They need to bring back the chicken and bites. How come they always take off the McRib off the menu just so they could bring it back? I don't really get it. Fast food don't be tasting that good to me anymore. Well, it depends on what it is. And a lot of that shit is as fuck nowadays. I feel better off just cooking my own food. This has to be like one of the most random matches I've ever seen. It's Ronald McDonald going up against a grandpa and a grandma. I guess Ronald doesn't have any friends because he's getting his ass fucking jump right now. Hey, I got a question. Which fast food place is your least favorite? I think mine is White Castle. They be having those small ass burgers. Them tiny ass burgers. What the fuck is that shit? And then on top of that, the food smells fucking weird. I can't imagine somebody going like, mmm, some White Castle would hit the spot right now. Y'all ever watch that movie called Harold and Kumar? They try to make that shit seem like the best food ever. They fucking lying their ass off. That's false advertising. White Castle was not that good. I tried to eat some Arby's and that shit was fucking trash. I had a fucking beef burger. Luckily, I didn't pay for that shit because if I did, I would want a refund. Do any of y'all remember the Arby's Meat Mountain? I want to know who ate that shit for real. All I ever seen was fucking pictures of that shit. This match feel like something you would see in like a dream or some shit. Why was he fighting a grandpa in the first place? Who fucking knows? That entire match, not a single move was sold. I don't know what that was, but it was something. He went through a flaming table and got up like it was nothing. Who the hell taught these guys how to wrestle? The Road Warriors? Yeah, I'm gonna fuck around, right? I'm gonna tell you how it is. You have a piece of flesh missing out of your back, right? Yeah, sure, so right about now, that is more important try, 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 to try. us to get your first aid up high, all right? Uh, just yeah. wait. Right, guys, at the uh, right, guys, uh, Racka Racka ends up getting revenge on the grandpa and grandma. He fucking did a 450 splash on some barbed wire. These dudes is crazy as hell. I don't even know how many matches Racket Racket did. I think he did about like four or five of them. He got like some back out wrestling clips on his YouTube channel too. They love doing all that hardcore shit. They haven't been uploading on YouTube. The last time they uploaded a video was like a year ago almost. Logan Paul was in their videos too. It's kind of crazy how Logan Paul became a WWE wrestler. Nowadays they be making movies and shit. So I guess that takes up most of their time. Racka Racka was working on this scary movie or some shit. It's called Talk To Me. I ain't never seen it before. Have any of y'all watched it before? Okay, let's talk about the next clown now. He is a Japanese wrestler. His name is Maku Donaruto. I'ma just put the words on the screen because I don't really know how to say that shit for real.
ain't never seen nothing like this before. Wrestling is always coming up with some new shit. He ain't here to wrestle. He on some demon timing right now. Most of this match, they just standing around and shit. This feels so awkward to watch. They just staring at each other while like one person in the crowd is just laughing. Eventually, they start picking it up and they start doing these comedy spots and shit. This makes me wonder if they have like a Burger King wrestler or some shit like that. I wouldn't be surprised if they did. Speaking of Burger King, they be selling like 60 nuggets for like $5. What the fuck be in them nuggets? They probably putting deer knuckles in them fucking nuggets. What the hell? One of the last times I ate Burger King, I got sick, so I ain't never eat that shit again. This guy goes up to the top rope and then he hits his balls on the ropes. Ronald McDonald gets up and now it's his turn to do a dive outside. And this time he hits his balls on the top rope. This some goofy ass shit right here. That shit looks so fucking painful, bro. This entire match, they was just fucking around. The last spot they do is like a tag team Eddie Guerrero spot. They start just smacking the fucking ref's bald ass head. Afterwards, this guy starts stripping down to Ronald McDonald. I'm going to just show y'all a picture because it gets a little bit freaky. I found Maku's YouTube channel. He posted like his matches and like random cooking shit. Let's take a look at one of his cooking videos.今空前のキャンプブームが起きてるけどうちは中学校の時にお父さんとキャンプに行ってからキャンプに行ったことがねえぞこの野郎清越は現在から人類の太鼓まで基本だからその辺は適当にやってくれよなうちワイルドなんで
might be dropping this shirt pretty soon. I'm gonna let y'all know though. Also, I'm still working on my Patreon. That's coming out pretty soon too. Damn, that's crazy. But anyways, if you forward the video, hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you for watching. Nacho Man out.